sound will be better. Every single time, it always gets tangled up. And of course, okay. All right, so what we want to do is we need to multiply these two, right? And remember, one, what we have is the square root of 14 plus the square root of 10i times square root of 14 minus the square root of 10i. The best thing I can tell you guys to do, remember, I mean, everybody should know FOIL, do quickly FOIL. When you're getting something like this that's going to get confusing or maybe mess with you, the best thing I would recommend is just use a little visual diagram to help you out. So remember, when multiplying a binomial like this, you can just put one term on the top and then the other one on the other side. Okay. So here, let's just multiply the side lengths for each square. Square root of 14 times square root of 14 is going to be square root of 14 squared, which is 14. Uh, square root of 14 times the square root of 10. You can multiply radicals. You can multiply their numbers inside of this. So that's going to be the square root of 140 i. Here, you're going to have the same thing. It's going to be the negative square root of 140 i. And then here, I have square root of 10 times square root of 10, or the negative square root of 10 is going to be the negative, uh, negative 10 i squared. Right? And then remember, i squared, we said represented negative 1, right? Already went through that. i squared equals negative 1. So therefore, I can rewrite i squared as negative 1. So when I rewrite this problem out, it can be um, uh, this is going to be a positive 10. So what we notice is these are the like terms, right? These are the same. So guess what? Cancel out. So I have 14 plus this just becomes 10, which is 24. And there we go. That's it. Final answer. Okay. So just use your diagrams to help you out um, to get those.